This week on In the Field, long exposures and dealing with a little camera vibration in Barcelona, Spain. Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to In the Field. My name is Scott Davenport and uh, we're back in Barcelona from uh, my recent trip to Spain. Uh, this time shooting the very beautiful Plaza de España uh, you know, back, uh, I guess, maybe several decades ago and I'm sure going back several hundreds of years. It was a major uh, intersection in the city and the, the bullfighting ring is right on the edge of the square and you know, the, the ring would just, you know, I can envision crowds spilling out into the, the square after a match. Since, uh, I think, the mid-1960s, the bullring been converted into a shopping plaza, and that is where I did the shoot for um, this episode. Uh, it's nice because they have a nice pedestrian access, and you can walk all around what was the upper edge of the ring, and you have really you know, beautiful views of a, a variety of angles of the city. Um, that also presents some challenges for the shoot, because with all of the foot traffic, uh, there's some camera vibration issues that uh, that I had to face. So um, let me just show you where this is on the maps and uh, get some footage and you can uh, hear me talk about what's going on with the vibration. So here is the center of Barcelona and zooming in a little bit, spanning this way, we have the Plaza de España right here and this thing here called Arenas. This is what's now a shopping center. It used to be the bullring. Let me switch over to the satellite view, get a better look at this. So here's the shopping plaza now, and you can walk up to this platform and circle all the way around it here. So this, this whole thing here is accessible, and you know you get great views of the city, especially you know the, the you know, nice architecture in the front of the plaza itself, and then you know the this nice promenade leading to the magic fountain, which uh, I featured a couple of weeks ago. On in the field. So let's switch over to 3D so you can get a better appreciation for what we're dealing with. So I'm up here sitting on this uh, platform here and shooting downward toward the uh, center of the square and then kind of using this these roads, this one here to the, you know, the I'll, I'll call it the north. This is really more like the south and, uh, and this one here as uh, radial points and letting the traffic zoom around. So that was the, the image I had in my head for the shot. I am overlooking the Plaza de España in Barcelona, and I'm gonna see if I can set up here for an evening shot once the sun goes down. I'm gonna have some challenge here. There's obviously some guardrails, so you can't get too close to the edge and fall. Let's see if I can position my camera so that I won't have these in the shot. I have settled on a composition that is roughly like what you see here. Uh, minus the cables, I have positioned my tripod close enough where when I pull down that lower bar just by half an inch, uh, we'll clear the frame and there won't be any bars in the shot. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the sun to go down, the city lights to come up, and take a few frames. The city lights are starting to come up, and a challenge up here is not so much the wind, but the platform that I'm standing on. Lots of other folks are up here, just like me, making in the city view tonight. But as people walk around, the platform vibrates a little bit. I've taken a look at a few of the test shots, and sure enough, there is some motion happening. And as it gets darker and my exposures get longer, that's getting amplified. My tripod's not moving, and that's you know solid and fixed. And um, what I'll do to combat that is I'm going to take uh, a high ISO shot. I'm actually going to set the ISO to auto on the camera, let it decide what to do. Right now it's giving me about a one-tenth of a second exposure. That's going to get the buildings nice and crisp. Then I can switch back to uh, a low ISO like 100 or 50 to get some smooth traffic trails. So the camera vibration coming from foot traffic, uh, that was the biggest challenge for this shoot. Now, uh, you saw that I took some high ISO shots, and uh, with the A7R, setting it to auto, letting the camera decide what ISO setting to use, it tends to try to target a 1 60th of a second for an exposure, and that's perfect for freezing you know, architecture. That's not moving around. It's not uh, sports action where you have to have a very high shutter speed. 
Uh, so that, that worked well. Uh, and I also employed some patience and just waited for a pause in the foot traffic. If you've ever done that, you've ever been somewhere where you're waiting for people to clear out and just seems that there's always this stream of people moving back and forth, and then suddenly, just for a few moments, there's no one there. And that happened. I was able to capture a half-second exposure, you know, maintaining a, a low ISO and getting some nice crisp uh, you know, uh, lines in the architecture. So uh, that's the type of image I'll use in post-processing, and I ended up not needing the high ISOs, but I am glad that I took them. So the tip of the week is know your footing. Uh, even if you have the most rock-solid anchor to the earth uh, you know, on a very sturdy tripod, if what you're anchored to is moving, then you have the potential for camera shake and for blurriness in your photos. Uh, you know, other examples might be if you're shooting on a floating dock and the water is a little bit rough. If you ever tried to shoot from a boat, you know, forget about using a tripod. That's just not going to work. Uh, uh, or you know, platforms where foot traffic introduces vibration. That is it for this week in the field. Thanks very much for joining me. Uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Tell a friend, share the channel to your social media streams. It's always nice to see the audience growing and people coming back uh, for more of these videos. It helps charge me up to keep me going. So until next time, happy shooting, and I'll see you again soon.